Omaha homeowners are helping their neighbors put food on the table. Good evening, I'm Alexandra Stone. The nonprofit Feeding America says one in nine Nebraskans face food insecurity and one in seven children face hunger. KETV News Watch 7's Alex McLoon shows us how Metro residents are stepping up to help. He joins us live tonight. Alexandra, Omaha's network of little free pantries is growing. The network, extending all the way out west, is seeing more and more demand. Stocked with non-perishables and toiletries, little pantries have popped up across Omaha and are stretching west. We are refilling it daily, and it's not a complete refill, but things are removed every day. Bethel Synagogues opened last August. Linda Saltzman is happy to see people taking what they need when they need it. In the beginning, it was the non-food items that were taken the most. Um, diapers mostly, we also put hats and gloves in there, toothbrushes, those kinds of things went the most. It has kind of evened out now. The demand for this has always pretty much been the same. Homeowner Amy Churko's pantry is one of Omaha's first free cupboards. So it's emptied out every day. Budgeting about 100 bucks a month for foot traffic or people walking by, she says the need is bottomless. And supplemental facilities like Trinity Feeds are bracing for what demand looks like this weekend. I don't see the demand going down anytime soon. Nicole, her son, and other volunteers hold a drive through once a month off 30th and Reddick. Every third Saturday of the month, people line the parking lot of the church from 11 to 1 for a drive up pantry. The church expects people to start lining up as early as 930 Saturday morning. Filling hearts and appetites. Pantry owners see what it means to feed others who can take what they need and give back what they can. Food insecurity is everywhere. I mean, even way here out west. Now it's been five years since Omaha started its network of little free pantries. Hopefully there's one by you. If you're in need, you can find the closest one to your home on this story at KETV.com. Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7.